Hola gang, and welcome again to Old Nerd Gamer. Once again, we are in American Truck Simulator and uh, just loaded up a new mod that I downloaded. I like those realism mods and this adds realistic trailers. So now we'll see Walmart trailers, FedEx trailers, UPS, and now FedEx trailers, that's aside from the new mod that I installed where you can see uh, UPS and FedEx trucks. This is FedEx trailers for the, the cabs themselves. And uh, roadway, yellow freight, a lot of good stuff. So it should be fun. Let's go ahead and uh, hop in to, well, let me go ahead and load up my map. Or load myself up. Uh, I tend to save on my own manually every once in a while just to make sure that I stay exactly where I want to. Uh, let's go into the job market. And I think what I'm going to try and do is try and get up to these undiscovered cities here, either Hornbrook or Redding or Eureka. Um, let's start in Reno. Whoa, right off the bat. Okay, now this is just a standard delivery. No, uh, no fragile stuff, no explosive stuff, so it's not going to give us a ton of extra experience points, but it is going to get us up to Eureka, so we will be able to discover that and ultimately get more jobs, hopefully over to uh, Hornbrook and, and uh, let's see, I've still got Carson City in, what is that, Tonopah to discover down here, and I haven't discovered LA? Seriously? Okay or San Diego, or El Centro. Okay, well, I've, I've still got more than enough to do, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I didn't even notice what we're delivering. We're delivering tires. Oh boy. I have always wanted to deliver tires. No, not really. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our trailer. And we've got, uh, I don't know if I ever look at the realistic billboards over there. We've got uh, Napa and McDonald's and that blank one still. And something else. How do we get out of here? Holy moly, right there? Okay, that's the skinny one. Let's go ahead and get it started up. And what are we in? We are in a Peterbilt, so I can go ahead and do my mile per hour uh, display my digital uh, let's go ahead and turn on our lights somebody's trying to call my wife over there don't know if you can hear that okay let's go ahead and get started uh, got about a half a tank of gas you know, we've got a ways to go so we may want to stop for gas just to play it safe this is a long trailer hope I'm going the right way whoa that's a skinny puppy. Uh, da, 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 da. Now I gotta go clear around. I don't think I've ever. No, I've never come out of Vola, Voltison Motors. Never even heard of it. So yeah, this is first. Um, let's go ahead and. Uh, not that. Wrong button. Turn on our signal. And we are fine. Looks like. So let's go ahead and ease out here. Wow. Oh no. I'm stuck. There we go. Like I said, that was pretty skinny. Good thing we don't have any uh, the fragile stuff on here. We do not want to mess up somebody's load. Okay, lovely night out. Let's go ahead and take a look right up here and let's be looking for a gas station on our way. And we've got a red light just in time for me to stop. Isn't that special? There's a Peterbilt dealership. Here, I can't 
can't tell yet. I think that was just a UPS truck. I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. Uh, let's go ahead and signal. And you're not going to let me over. That's special. Yeah, we're going to be getting on the freeway up here. So, we will keep an eye out for a gas station on our way. Because I definitely don't want to take the chance of running out of gas again like I did before. Although we made it. Uh, no, better stop. Even though we've got those longer lights, I still don't want to take a chance on getting dinged. Hey, Padna, what's going on? Nice to see ya. Where are you headed? Okay, and I'm gonna let him go before I turn. I do not want to hit trailers. Just to play it safe. Freeway entrance. It's funny, I have never to this point gotten tired even though I have that setting fully turned on. So if I get tired, I'll yawn and I've got to pull off at a uh, some kind of roadside stop or motel or something. I really want to get off. This looks like an exit only. There we go. Um, yeah, and I've never gotten tired. Which I find strange. One thing that I think they should implement if they if they can uh, via a DLC is the ability to stop like say you're traveling a, a long long way and you're getting tired and there's not a good place to pull off a hotel or a rest stop or anything for quite a while I think they should build in the ability to stop at a coffee shop and get some coffee and make it so the uh, the meter the tired meter exhaustion meter whatever uh, gets a little boost so that way it gives you a little bit more time to get to that rest stop I think that sounds like a stellar idea what do you guys think I think they should do that okay so we are 80 ooh back off junior we are 80 uh, but we're only going 60 and that's fine what's this guy putting on his lights for are you serious what are you doing oh no wonder I need to get over okay you're okay I'm not mad at you anymore oh serious we're down to a single lane oh wow okay fine and dandy just fine and dandy that's okay and it's down to 70 now and it's 11 o'clock and we need to be there our ETA is Sunday at 617 7 hours and 6 minutes 617 a.m. I don't see a problem making this not at all plus we're gonna get some new discoveries out of it gonna get Eureka out of the way We've got forty two thousand dollars in our bank and uh, on our way to our truck even though my experience is not going up fast enough for me for my liking but that's my own fault that's because I don't have the guts to park a big trailer yet and I know I could uh, really boost my experience up if I were to learn how to park correctly I will I will Wow what am I on 395 hmm never heard of it but that's okay I'm not very familiar with Nevada been to Reno my uh, wife's father and mother-in-law used to own a hotel 
that was connected to a casino in Reno. So we would go down there and stay every once in a while. Actually, we only stayed once. We went down there a couple times, but we only stayed with them once. And, uh, geez, this is windy. I don't like windy roads. But it was fun. That was my first experience ever with uh, Reno and Nevada. And uh, so we gambled a little bit and went over to uh, Las Vegas and saw all the pretty lights over there. It's a fun place to go, but I definitely would not want to live there. It's just not my style. I like the Pacific Northwest here. Wow. It's single lane, it's windy as heck, and it's dark. I should put on my brights, but to tell you the truth, I forgot what button that is. So we'll just go with what we have. It looks like we have a number of people behind us, but they're just going to have to wait unless somebody gets real gutsy and pulls around me. Well, we've got two double lines, so if they do, they are doing it illegally. But who's going to get them out on this road unless you have a cop kind of hiding off in the bushes? Right? Right. Okay. Um, we got some more telephone poles than I've seen. Does that mean that we're coming into a town? Wow, I need to get gas. I really do. I would hate to run out out here. What is this? Gallon? Gallon. Hmm. Okay. Looks like we're pulling into a Redding. Okay. So be on the lookout, guys. I need a... I need a... Yeah, that's a big... Whatever gallon is. I think I pulled out of that before. It's 40. That's a... Uh, Rather big factory, or whatever it is. Okay, gas station, gas station. I see one way over there. It may be worth... Ooh, a dealership too. Oh, this might be really nice. Redding discovered. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and slow down a little bit. Ah, not that much. Holy moly. Stop in the middle of an intersection. Seriously? Oh, that was scary. Okay, I'm going to have to get over so you guys let me. Oh, those brakes. The sensitivity is too much. May have to adjust that a little bit. 30 miles an hour, and we're going 30. And my coffee from McDonald's is over there getting cold. Oh well, that's what the microwave's for. Okay, I'm gonna be taking a right here. And this is great. We're making two discoveries actually, Redding and Eureka. And we'll be stopping to get gas and it looks like we're gonna get a, another uh, dealership discovered. Sweet. Let's see. Oops. There's Eddie's up there. Been there, done that. Not in this area, but been there, done that. Okay, what are we pulling up on? I'm looking and I'm not seeing anything yet. Dealership should be right here, right? People out here walking at night. Let's see. I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, okay, a recruitment center. So it's not a recruitment agency. Okay, so it's not a dealership. That's okay. We need those eventually. Okay, gas station up here on our right. Thank goodness. And what do we got here? Put on our signal so everybody knows what we're doing. We've got a golf. We've got a golf. Okay. Oh, wow. It's either I'm doing too much or not enough. Okay. Hopefully I can swing this here. 
Oh, please swing it here. Please swing it here. Oof, crunchy. Uh, I don't know. Am I going to make it? I don't know. I don't... Uh, I think I'm on a curve. Curb. Okay. So let's go ahead and stop this. We'll put our parking brake on. And we will turn off and fill up. Uh, let's see here. What was that? Did that? I didn't see the price for diesel. Not that it really matters, I guess. Tank is full. Uh, what do we got? We got 281 for diesel. That's not a doggone bad price, actually. Okay. So, yeah, we're full. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. Take our parking brake off and see if we can maneuver out of this. Okay. And we are on the road again. Yes, I know. Fuel expenses are covered by the employer. Let's see what we're looking at. Is that a helicopter I heard? Sure sounded like one. Okay, come up to a red light. And we're going to be taking it straight. I'll just ease into this. Ah, I didn't even have to brake. Well, not for the light. I did have to break the turn. Duh. Oh, this is a weird roadway. Is this a bridge? Certainly looks like a bridge, doesn't it? I just can't see over the other side because it's dark. God, I got some sniffles. I got some sniffles going on here. We're still single lane in it. I would have loved to have gotten on the freeway and opened it up a little bit. What do we got left? We still got four hours left. Leaving Reading. Okay, and our speed has gone up to 55, but I'm not going to be going 55 on these windy roads. Are you insane? That's cray cray. We just ain't going to, ain't going to do that. Still a lonely road out in the middle of nowhere where I can take over both lanes if I want to. Wow, ooh, that was close. Oh, driving with a keyboard on windy roads is not an easy feat. You know, I could have pulled off and stretched my legs, I guess, right there, huh? Wow, this is just too windy. Give me a nice straightaway with at least two lanes at least this looks like it went down to a single there's no way another car could pass on the other side but then it goes into a double so I I don't know maybe it was just kind of looked that way an illusion if you will Feel like I'm on a roller coaster almost. Hey, playing roller coaster tycoon mod inside American Truck Sim. Isn't that special? So my brother-in-law Ken, hi Ken, if you're watching, just picked up the game. He played the demo and enjoyed. It. Ooh, 25. Wow. I better. Wow. Um, he played the demo and enjoyed it, so he finally picked up American Truck Sim, which is cool. Now, I downloaded the multiplayer mod um, and, and created a uh, profile on the multiplayer uh, site, but I haven't played it yet. Have any of you guys who play uh, ATS or Euro Truck, have you guys played on the multiplayer? If you have, let me know what it's like. Is it laggy? Is it fun? 
I can't imagine what you would do in a truck on multiplayer. I mean, it'd be cool if somebody could, you know, hop in and ride along with you or something, I guess. But I, even that would be like, okay, big deal. So what do you do on multiplayer? Uh, I'm sure I'll find out eventually, but you guys tell me if you know. Because it's lonely being a trucker. I need somebody to talk to. One of the mods that I'd really like, I, I like the radio mods. I put a lot of new stations in that are local stations and just music genres that I like, 70s and 80s and classical and stuff. Ooh, first car I've seen coming along. Um, but I would really like a CB mod. I know there's a couple out there that, that you know simulate CB radio which I'm really surprised is not in this game uh, natively but um, as far as they go they say you know warnings truckers you know swear a lot or something like that so beware that there's adult language in here that kind of stuff makes me uncomfortable I would rather have it a little bit fake and having them not swear and I mean, when I had a CB radio in the 70s, I used to have one and uh, listen from my home to the truckers out there. That was always fun for me, still is. Um, I've got, you know, like a scanner and I've got a shortwave radio. I love that kind of stuff. But um, I used to listen to the truckers and, you know, I, I wasn't hearing any filthy stuff. So, you know, I think that's probably partial to maybe the area or or I don't know maybe that's the way it is anymore I don't know if you could do that back then I think you'd get in trouble for it in fact now that I'm thinking about it for swearing a lot on the air um, so I don't know uh, but I would love to have a CB mod a CB simulation mod where I could hear CBers or truckers talk to each other without the language. That would be wonderful. I would love that. Looks like the sun's starting to rise, huh? And it's still windy as heck. Wow. Sun is rising behind us. We've got uh, a little over an hour to go in ATS time. So, CSC, get on that coffee shop mod and get on that uh, CB DLC, maybe. That would be awesome. Look at these homes out here. Who would live out in this area? Well, I mean, it, it's kind of looking like it may be right out of, outside of town. There's a lot more homes. But I've never understood people who live out in the boonies where you know there's no stores for miles and miles and miles i just can't do that you know i used to say that i could never live in a town oh that's 55. i could never live in a town that didn't have a 7-eleven on every corner now i've changed a little bit since then uh, i kind of like a little bit of peace and quiet not in the city directly in the city but still, I, I, oh, look at the bus. But I've never understood people who live out in the boonies, way away from everything. It just makes no sense to me. Why would you want to spend all that time and all that gas just to go shopping, right? That's still 55 along here. Walbert. Oh, discovered Eureka. Okay, let's get out of here. That was close. There's a BP. I doubt we would have made that, so I'm glad we went ahead and filled up where we did. Turn off. So we're in Eureka, folks. That means we're, we're where we need to be. And it is 55 along here. Pizza Hut. Here's a new billboard. New branded billboard. Love it. Love that realistic stuff. I don't know what that is over there. And I am going to be getting, I'm not sure if I talked about it, I am going to be getting one of those VR headsets. Uh, so I'll be able to actually just look around with my head and it won't be as shaky. And uh, I'll be able to just glance around a little bit uh, freer. 
So we'll be able to see a lot more stuff. I see, I think I see our destination up here. Yes, I do. Just as the sun's coming up. There's a, it's a convoy. I used to love that song back in the 70s. Um, C.W. I want to say McCall. Is that right? C.W. McCall? Truck wash. C.W. McCall. That sounds right. Who, who did that song, Convoy? Walbert again. Another Walbert. Okay, where are we going up here? There's a lot of city. I think it's right there. Is that where we're headed? Yes, it is. There's our destination. It wasn't real clear. So let's go ahead and turn in here. And we're going to the, another Voltan or Voltison. I think our truck's hanging out there, so hopefully they'll just go around and not hit me. Okay, so that looks like a pretty one, uh, easy parking job. Hey, dude. Just can we swing it? And this way I won't skip over it so, cl uh, so quickly and lose our XP. I think I'm getting tired myself. I need my McDonald's coffee. Okay, what's our trailer looking like? Are we gonna make that? I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna just do it slowly, slowly. Come on, come on, you can do it. No? Oh, come on, we're in. Are you serious? That's gonna see I'm not gonna now that's gonna pull me out let's go ahead and go back and try and do this I mean we're pretty clear behind me but I mean that should have been right in seriously okay let's try it again I mean some of them are real gracious and but I mean this is right in if I don't do it this time we're gonna skip it and I'll lose the experience ah uh, now you suck. Okay, whatever. Okay, excellent. Our driving distance was 324 miles. And it was our trip was 8 hours and 54 minutes. And we got a level 5 proficiency bonus. Plus our base pay. And a long distance delivery bonus. Nice, so that gave us some extra experience points. 65 uh, good okay so we are almost halfway through level five on our way to buying our truck and we discovered two new cities and we got some gas and uh, we discovered a recruitment agency so when we're ready to buy our first uh, or, or start our trucking company uh, we'll actually be able to uh, have a couple areas so far that we can go ahead and recruit truckers from, make offers. Okay, anyway, let's take a look at our world map real quick before I let you go. And where, let's see, where are we here? Eureka, right there. Let's go in a little bit closer. So we're up here now. Where's our little thing? Let's see. Did I pull out a little bit further? Oh, Redding? Where am I? Where's Waldo? All of a sudden I can't find myself, seriously? Okay, anyway, so Hornbrook is the next stop. I bet that uh, the next time I see you, we'll be able to take a trip from uh, where we are up to Hornbrook. Um, 
nonetheless, that was a good drive. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Have a freaking awesome day, in fact. And I will see you next time. Bye now. And live to uh, fight another day. Okay. Two, uh, two medics on each other. Let's see.